Hey folks, I'm going to let you guys in on a little experiment I'm trying that seems to be going uh, pretty well. Um, a buddy of mine, uh, well, actually, yeah, a friend of mine turned the wife and I on to uh, using vinegar as a condiment, not just something to, to make pickles, essentially. So uh, we've been really digging on uh, Heinz malt vinegar and um, just regular distilled vinegar and stuff like that lately. And um, a buddy of mine said, well, why don't you turn your beer into, or you can turn your beer into vinegar. You can make it essentially just like you do um, your wine and your beer. So uh, Tim Dog was the guy who showed me this. He's on my subscriber list. Really good guy. He's on my discussion board too. He's been very, very helpful in this little experiment. So the first thing you need is basically the vinegar equivalent of a um, of yeast uh, to do that or to, to make vinegar so I've got one of my I think that's my Dunkel or my Hefeweizen I forget which one honestly uh, sitting over there on the right that's essentially fermenting into vinegar but to get started you can find this in just about any US grocery store you need Bragg's organic raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar and it says with the mother and you'll notice the mother is that sort of gelatinous little thing in the bottom so you get some of that that's essentially your yeast and you pour that into a uh, fermentation vessel I'm just using a, a one liter bottle for right now and you wanna this is should not be airtight so I've got the lid on there to keep any particles or anything out, but it's not really screwed down. So this has been going for about, oh, four weeks or so now. And you can see one of the things that uh, Tim was talking about to look for to make sure it's actually fermenting. Once you get a little bit of the, the mother from the bottom of this in there, is you see that little grease-like layer? It almost looks like congealed cooking grease or hamburger grease or something like that, that is a, um, a cellulose-like layer um, that demonstrates the fact that you've actually got the um, acetacidic bacteria, I think is what it's called, in your batch. And you'll notice if I, if I manhandle this at all in any way, that little layer is going to slowly float down to the bottom you can see it moving that doesn't hurt it at all and I've done it a couple of times so far so you can see there's a big layer built up on the bottom of those little bitty layers so I'm gonna probably let this go for another month or until it stops forming that top layer and uh, I'm gonna see how it goes uh, now if I take the cap off of this now I, I tried it once a week or so or something along those lines um, you definitely pick up the vinegar aroma. It's not as strong as I thought it would be, so I might end up fortifying that with a little vodka or something like that. Um, just a little bit, not a whole lot. It's just cool to watch that layer go down. So, yeah, I'm playing around with this. It's just something alternate I can do with my main hobby, making vinegar. I kind of want to make a, a really light Hefeweizen sometime soon. Uh, maybe flavored with watermelon or some other fruit and then turn a good portion of that into vinegar and then use that vinegar to make summer pickles so that's kind of the the next step here um, I've got plenty of other um, projects going I'm working right now a lot with uh, my business partner we're trying to get um, bringyourownkeg.com off the ground the website's up but we're still tinkering with how we want to display products and stuff like that it's actually open for business if you guys want to go check it out it's kegerator kits and stuff like that so but I wanted to show you guys this little experiment I've been running on the top of my refrigerator